love crew welcome back to he loves on tv at fake place v and i'm back with another freaking reaction to this week and today you guys are gonna try out with a reaction to the many toxic relationships of nba young boy now as we all know yb used to be in a lot of relationships in the past y'all but you know i'm proud he's been in this one relationship with um what's her name jazz you know he been he been with her for like a long time but before that he used to stay switching girls out if y'all know what i'm talking about but y'all should know what i'm talking about but um yeah we finna get into this video before we get to this video make sure to me a big favor like comment subscribe ring that bell if you're new to the channel because a low crew is the best crew of all crews and we're gonna get straight into it whether it being caught on CCTV, dragging and body slamming his girlfriend on the corridor floor of a hotel, or ordering his groupies to assault his baby mother as she tries to steal their baby out of his house, Youngboy has some oh of the craziest God. toxic relationships I have ever seen. And it seems like what? he never learns from his past, with each relationship getting more and more toxic. With a recent one ending in his baby mother, Yaya Mayweather, stabbing another one of his baby mothers. I'm telling you, Youngboy's past is a definition of toxic. So who has Youngboy been in these crazy relationships with? What allegations has Youngboy gathered over the years? And will he ever face the consequences for his actions? In 2017, a girl under the name Nay Devine would come out on Instagram Live accusing NBA Youngboy of assaulting her at a show backstage in California. I was in the venue watching 21 Savage perform. I was standing next to Gina. Gina had like points upstairs, like go upstairs, like young boy from upstairs, like he wants you. So I go upstairs, young boy drags me by my hair. He drags me by my hair in front of everybody. He drags me by my hair and like drag me into this room. And I'm like, let go of my hair. Like let go of my hair. Like what are you doing? So the, like, I'm embarrassed. This Like this just drag me by my hair in front of everybody. Oh so I cry and I run to the the bus. Youngboy would then go to see and her in the really tour bus it. and said to her that what he did was because apparently she slept with someone from 21 Savage's crew. What they done said is that I flipped by 21 Savage's friend. During this live, the girl would also accuse Youngboy of hitting his girl Jania and that she only stays with him because he is a rich rapper that can buy her anything. No, she didn't get beat up by me. I'm talking about when her got exposed, he whooped the f out of her. He beat the f out of Jania. The only reason why Jania is with him is because he can buy her anything. Finally, to end up the Dang. live, she would then say that she would be pressing charges against young boy, which wasn't too great for him as he was already out on a suspended sentence. So to summarize things up, this girl, Nay, was going around with young boy and his crew until one day she supposedly slept with someone from 21 Savage's crew, which young boy didn't like, so he beat her up, which of course isn't- Why being his past was a wild boy like- I already know him and Jania was so toxic. They was probably fighting each other. I know he was for sure, you know, putting up hauls on different girls. You know, I ain't putting it past him because he was very wild when he was younger. Like, when he was just coming up. Because I think, like, you know, around that time, it was just a lot going on. Like, he blowing up fast, you know, money getting to his head probably. He already hood and toxic. So, I already know, like, that lifestyle ain't nothing to play with, okay? It ain't nothing to play with. But I feel like the older he got, he matured a lot more. Even though he was still, he's still depressed and stuff. I don't think he's like putting his hands. I don't know. You know, I'm not in his life or nothing. But I, I would assume that he's not really putting his hands on like his wife that he has now. Because it seemed like a more peaceful relationship. You know, like it ain't no back and forth going on or anything like that. So... But yeah, his past baby, he he was wild and reckless. Awful thing to do. However, it is just her words against his, so we cannot take these allegations too seriously. <clears throat> However, these accusations bring us onto the next toxic relationship from NBA Youngboy with Jania. I met Control on Twitter. From the first day we saw each other, we was like this. We were together all the time, like all the time. The two met when Youngboy just got out of jail, and to say the least, the two were very reckless and stupid. This can be seen from a video around the same time the previous so assault allegation though. came out from the previous Instagram live Toxic. where Youngboy was laying with Jania whilst his other baby mother was sat in front of them watching them make out and even have Youngboy shout stuff at her while she just sat I just got the 
I remember that video. I'm like, dang. Hey, right in front of the baby mama. See this, but it's called. Uh, taking it all in. So it was that so that's really his real one of his real baby mama y'all because I thought they said something about like he was just taking care of her son or something. I don't know if it was her or another girl, but y'all come down below. Is that really one of his baby mama that girl right there? Cause yeah. Boy, it is. Just look at her fucking boy. Okay, look at your fucking. Look at your. Now look, when Jania saw this happening, she should have been like, "Damn, if he's doing this to another girl, one day he's going to end up doing it to me." But of course, she didn't, and the two will stay together and become a very popular couple online. Especially at this point in time, Man, young boy was blown was. up and had just released his seventh solo mixtape, AI Young Boy, debuting at the 14th spot on the Billboard 200 Albums chart. When unfortunately for Jania, in the January of 2018, she would be spotted by young boy fans who recognized her sleeping on the couch in a hotel lobby. They would take pictures of her sleeping in the hotel lobby and caption it, NBA Young Boy Girlfriend, laughing emoji. Now, of course, this was embarrassing for her. As you know, it seemed like Young Boy didn't want to see her or couldn't be bothered to get her a room but also with the fact that apparently she was sleeping down there because he was plowing groupies in his hotel room however no I one actually knows too. if that's, that's true wild. now Jinia would then come out of a video responding to it all telling fans it's not what it seems like honestly it's not what y'all making it into it's not as bad as y'all making it seem okay i'm not in the room okay i'm good Maybe I just didn't need to go to sleep tonight. Shit, I don't know. But However, she would post on her Instagram story, "Been treated so wrong, I'll never live again." giving us contradicting statements. <laughs> and young boy himself would see the situation blowing out of proportion on social media. I mean, so he would make a response. I already made a video about the whole situation with her while be on her YouTube channel. I think she deleted it though, but we know what was going on between them already. It was toxic as heck. Yeah, he was treating her dirty. He was treating her very dirty, ain't gonna lie to you, but she was young, she's a lover girl, that's that's like how a lot of lover girls like, that's how a lot of lover girls like act, you know, when they really like a dude or love a dude for real, like, and he got, he had money, so she was like young, just like, okay, he got, he can take care of this though, but if I leave him, then I will have to, like, I don't know, she probably was thinking about the money, because you know what I'm saying, she put up with a lot, like, he kicked her out while she while he could do his you know do his do with other girls it was just it was a lot going on it was a lot they were saying it was nothing to do with him she just didn't want to sleep in I'm the hotel room with him bitch i'll post it all that stupid ass shit bitch that ain't me i ain't, I, only, I only got instagram and twitter man stop speaking on me and my girl like bitch i don't really worry about all the wrong fucking things she slept in the lobby because she ain't want to sleep with me the fuck and it seemed like he also wanted to make it up to her as the next day he would take her on an enormous shopping spree and again as much as they seemed happy it was silly for Jania to stay with young boy and everyone could see that fans on social media were telling her why are you letting yourself get treated like this go back to school and find yourself a real man but of course, Jania ignored them and fell in love with the rapper lifestyle. And things would get way darker very quickly. Just a month later in the February of 2018, Jania and Youngboy would be staying at a hotel in Waycross, Georgia for the weekend. However, it seems like something happened between the two, resulting in hotel CCTV capturing Youngboy Dragger's girlfriend across the halls and body slamming her, with the footage being brutal. And I can only show certain areas and pieces, as of course I don't he needs to have the same treatment like Diddy, but y'all understand this boy was a like this boy was dead as a teenager. Diddy is grown. Diddy was still grown in that that video, even though it was years old. He was still overgrown, like too grown to be doing something like that, like way too grown, like you way too grown and mature to like know right from wrong. Why be? You know he's still young, reckless. Not saying it's an excuse to treat nobody like that. He's still wrong for real for even doing this, you know, because I know he was doing like if he did this on camera, he could have been doing way worse 
off camera so he still even though like i love yb he's still dead wrong for this shit like for real but you know what i'm saying y'all can't y'all still can't compare the situation because yb was still like a, a basically a little boy like boys and girls they different like boys mature way later than girls do you know and that's a fact but other than that he's still wrong for this but it's not comparable to the diddy situation at all Hoto guests even heard the commotion and called the front desk to alert them. And then the front desk called the police. Sources say Youngboy and Jania had fled by the time police arrived, but the footage and evidence found in their room was enough to issue a warrant, especially with blood being found in their hotel room. Then a couple hours later, Youngboy would end up getting arrested in Tallahassee, Florida. Police came in contact with Youngboy on his tour bus, which no one knows why, but they ended up running his record. They discovered he was a fugitive from Georgia for allegedly committing assault, weapons violations and kidnapping where they would end up arresting him. And even after this incident, Jania took to social media to deny the encounter was anything but playful fighting between the couple. Okay, about these false allegations about what went on with me and Control. First of all, so pretty. in the hallway, we were playing, it's us playing. playing. What's the difference between this video <laughs> of us playing and the video in the airport of us playing? When I had that red jacket on, and as soon as we saw people watching us playing, we waved. We wave and smile, that's how we play. She would say, I was pulling him, that's just us, that's just the way we play. He was Kidnapped. pulling me. F no, has he ever put him. his hands on me? He was F no, me. we 18, and what do you all expect? Um, we good, I promise you that. <laughs> You'll think I would say somewhere I was getting abused? F no, we good, trust me. So, even with everything that's gone down, here is how to be a video gamer forever Man, it was in less so than 60 dumb, seconds. Bro. Now hear me out. If you're anything like me, then you love gaming. Um, including making her sleep in a hotel lobby, then physically assaulting her, it seems like she still wanted to be with him. Whether that was she was okay with him doing this to her, or she was genuinely delusional. I mean, just a couple weeks before this incident, the two would get tattoos of each other's names, so I guess they were really locked in. Now with this case, a year later in 2019, prosecutors would end up dropping their kidnapping and assault charges so Youngboy would get away free. But after this incident, it seemed like things weren't great between the two, and they ended up breaking up midway through 2018, which was supposedly as the court said that the two are not allowed to communicate or see each other while the case was ongoing. Then in the August of 2018, Youngboy would deny ever hurting the girl, and would also announce him and Jania have a baby on the way. Yeah, yeah, Janelle bit break me from, from when the first incident happened and I went to jail. See, I never physically punched my girl. I never physically slapped my girl, you hear me? Yeah. But you know, they gon' they gon' bill it for who I am. And when they ban us around each other, you know, we can't speak no more. But at the same time, you know, when everything back right, you know what it is, you know, it's tatted on me four times, you hear me? I got a place right Shoot, here. Shoot, I hope he it's did. It's on me four times. So if... They look at me, they know what it is. Once the charges drop, though, hey, the bitch on me, now she got to go, and she know that. She's sitting right here. She got to go. Hey, you know you got to go, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> And to round off their complicated relationship in late 2018, on the song, Can't Be Saved, he would announce he has herpes. Soon after the release of that song, Jinia would then hop on life herself and announce to the world, she has it too. The same thing that's in his blood, is the same thing that's in my blood. Now whilst Youngway and Jinia were on a short break, nah, and start playing saying, about- you know, they was just saying it for like, the views for the songs for the songs to go up but i don't know i don't i still don't get it like he really didn't need to say that in his song for the song to even like do numbers because he was still making hits after it. so it's like what's the point of even saying that if he really don't got it like because he really didn't need to say that i don't know he could have said anything else but something like that so that's why i don't know if he i don't know to this day i don't know if he got that or not Honestly, as a rapper, he, he got so many bodies, he probably, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna put it past if he do, because rappers got a lot of bodies, okay? And I know he was reckless and, you know what I'm saying? He was reckless when he first got famous, so who knows? Who knows at this point? But I just don't believe it was just, it was literally just for it. Like the views, I don't know. The new rising social media star, Bad Baby. And things would get pretty heated. It would all begin when the two would make Instagram posts about each other. Young boy would post an image of them baby. together with the caption, When you with me, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Then Bad Baby would post a similar picture with the caption, I know we got one thing in common, we both want dough. 
where young boy commented, when I first met you, to be real, I had to stare you down. Now at first, many of you will think this is normal innocent relationship. However, many fans and blogs started attacking young boy after a video of him and bad baby was leaked where they were caught laying in bed together. Now of course the man in the video had a big emoji over his face but with the tattoo above his eyebrow and the scar on his forehead it was clear who it was. Now the reason people were turning against him was because the significant age difference between the two as at the time young boy was 18 and bad baby was 15 a year under the age of consent in 31 states and 2-3 to three years under in 19 other states. However in an interview with No Jumper in the July of 2018 she would come out and speak about the relationship. She would first express how much Jungboy means to her and how he was her first love. No bitch that he talked to after he got out of jail ever gave a fuck about him like I did. Really? Period. She would then go on to tell us how stupid he was. Well, he's so stupid. He's so fucking retarded. He'd be like, I really care about him and I really love him, but he's so stupid. He's so fucking dumb. He's so fucking stupid. The man don't listen for shit. Young boy don't go on the street, you're gonna get ran over. I'm fucking sure you guys. <laughs> the man had a monkey. <laughs> Shitting! Shitting in Studio A, okay, uh. guys? And then Bad Baby would end off the interview by explaining how it seems like young boy sold her a bit of a dream and they're not together anymore. You know, the last thing I told him was don't sell me a false fucking dream. Mm. Don't sell me a false dream. Was the dream that you guys were going to be the celebrity power couple? Shut up. Now as much as it seemed like things were over between them, well, they would actually escalate. Aww. A year later in the June of 2019, firstly, Bad Baby and Malu Treveo would fight on Instagram live over Youngboy. Now before the two went on the same live together, <laughs> Malu and Bad Baby would be on separate lives taking shots at each other. Malu would first make fun of the fact that Bad Baby got NBA Youngboy's first name, Contrell, tatted on her hand. Hand, even though they're not together. I'm not the one that was sucking dick in the corner. I'm not the one that be writing everybody dick. I'm not the dumb bitch that tatted somebody's name who don't even want them on them. <laughs> because bitch, don't you think that guy told me to do that too? Huh? Cause he did. Okay, have you heard about this dental implant provider that was oh. somehow able to make getting permanent dental implants affordable? Nah, okay. this dick was so funny. Which is really actually true, and Oval was seen by weird from fans as her and young boy weren't dating, yet she got his name tattooed on him. Well, she would give us an explanation in another video on why she got the tattoo. It's so crazy. All I see on the internet, people talk and 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 talk about y'all don't know about. These are my, this is my body, these are my tattoos. I do my own for my own reasons. Y'all do not know what goes on behind me with me and him. I don't know behind the scenes. So please stop telling me how he has a girlfriend. I did not get this tattoo to be with him or because I'm with him. Like, come on, stop. Seriously, stop the Stop. Y'all sound crazy out your mind. Like, ridiculous. I Anyways, back to the beef. One. Well, yeah, it was just two teenage girls screaming at each other on an Instagram live, which I'm not gonna put you through, but I'll show you a little bit. Listen, listen, I was trying to be friends with you because I'm not you, bitch. You wanna put up her dress? Show that, show that. I just want to do. The last thing we would ever hear of Bad Baby and NBA Youngboy was that they would be on an Instagram post together. Yeah, you know what? Y'all can have your own private life. 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 Y'all can have your not only is he talented, but he has an amazing heart, and he's truly a good person. I'm tired of seeing your back shame and talk bad about him. You'll only speak on what you see, but what you don't seem to realize is he really been going through some shit. That's what make him act how do. You all don't know him like I do. My tattoo has our own personal meaning behind it. I shouldn't have to sit here and explain myself, but I'm gonna. No, we are not together, but the truth is we will all be a part of each other's lives, no matter what anyone got to say. We've played a big part in each other's lives and helped each other through a lot of sh- we talk all the time and no one will ever change that. I'm by his side till he die. And even after that, Contrell, I love you for L. So yeah, definitely a weird situation. Some dodgy stuff going over the age difference. But overall, it seemed like she was just kind of obsessed with him, which led to all of this. The next relationship of young boy, which was pretty toxic, would be with Star Thigpen, which ended in both of them getting arrested. But before we get onto that, let's give a bit of backstory behind their relationship. So back in July of 2016, young boy on Star would deliver their son Cameron, 
popularly named Baby K. And years after raising him as his own, well, young boy would take a paternity test to see if his son is really his. Or unfortunately, he would find out that Cameron isn't actually his biological son. Which of course hurt him. However, yeah, Youngboy announced he will still treat him as his own, as he shared a post with fans that read, Wanna be the first to tell you I officially found that baby K isn't my child. But the man I am, I'm going to keep raising him like he's mine. I can't wait her to find out the truth, but life goes on. Which of course is heartbreaking. However, Youngboy would have more paternity issues later down the line as well. As in 2020, he would post a story which read, Do we need another DNA test? B, you just lied like that. You've been getting over me since I was a child. You don't know what loyalty is. You one of the biggest hoes I know. You ain't ever had me. Now to fans at first, this story was a bit confusing, as it wasn't directly aimed at anyone. So social media took action and started creating some theories. Firstly, a week prior to the story, Youngboy actually announced in a tweet that one of his baby mothers slept with one of his brothers. In a tweet which read, I never really been the type to record myself having s my baby mama effed my brother before too, it's okay. Which of course is shocking, so that Instagram story may have been referring to that situation. Then the second theory is that the story about the paternity test was aimed at Star as they had paternity issues in the past. But enough of that, and on to when Youngboy and Star were arrested with their son locked inside a hotel room. On the 11th of February in 2019, NBA Youngboy, Star, and one of his children would be staying in a hotel room in Atlanta. Now, they were supposed to check out. However, it seemed like Youngboy and his family didn't want to. So when a cleaner came in and asked them are they going to check out, they got into a bit of a dispute. So first, a cleaner would knock on their door and ask them if they wanted to check out, which is when Youngboy Find what you're looking for for a on blank the stare, then called over for his girlfriend Star to sort her out. This is open. Knock on the door. He was laying face down on the couch right here. Uh -huh. I can hear the baby in the back crying, but that's okay. So I'm like, I know him. He's a young rapper. So I asked him, All right, it's 12 o'clock. After 12 o'clock, unless I'm notified by my supervisor, you have to go. If you're not a late checkout. I asked him, Was he a late checkout? He's just looking at me. I said, Do you want me to tell the front desk that you want to check out? He called and said, Baby. Come and get these hoes out of here. It was me and the girl that I'm training. I'm training somebody. Mm -hmm. So she come and she slammed the door. Well, at least she tries to slam the door. So I said, what you It's like the hoe. And she attacked me. And my phone had fell right here on the floor. And he came out the room while the bra was going on. And he, he grabbed her. And he said, now hold do me like that. I'm going to slap the shit out of you, hoe. So um, he wanted to let me go back this way to get to the other So I got to go down the freight stairs. Mm -hmm. So me and my trainee, I tell her to come on. Because he coming towards us like he going to attack us. So I tell her to come on, we go back there when all my stuff was right here on the floor. It was my hair scarf. They pulled my hair off, my hair and my phone. When I asked and I told them that I need my phone, he said, Ho, you ain't getting shit. Y'all ain't getting no phone. He threatened me in front of her. Ho, if you come knock on that door again, I'm gonna knock your ass out, bitch. He also threatened my supervisor. And it was him that told her to slap my ass because I came and asked him, were they a late checkout? After Star smacked the cleaner in the face, the police were called to the hotel. Where upon arrival, police discovered Jung Boy and his girlfriend stood outside a hotel room door with their baby locked inside. After their arrest, they would search the hotel room where officers seized 9.2 grams of marijuana and poured out a cup of lean. On Monday the 11th of February, the 19-year-old rapper was booked for three misdemeanors, including possession of weed, use of fighting words, and physical obstruction of another. They would bond out on the same day, and eventually the charges of use of fighting words and physical obstruction would be dropped. Now, not only did young boy and his girlfriend attack an innocent cleaner, they also severely neglected their child. First of all, having him in a hotel room with all of those substances in there, then attacking an innocent person in front of their child, then somehow getting themselves locked out of the room their child is in, it is terrifying how these people are the legal guardians of this child. But let's look at it from Young Boys and Star's POV. Apparently the cleaner knew that he was in that hotel room and knew he was a famous rapper. So apparently
apparently, while she was opening the door, she tried to record and take pictures of young boy, which explains why the cleaner said that they apparently knocked her phone out of her hand and stole it. Man, they both had their camera phones like this. Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Mm. My baby mama tried to hurry up and shut the door. You hear me? The other one stuck her hand in the door. But she, man, she violated my, my space, man. I'm a, I'm a stop, and she came to work on some fan shit, not being professional. But that mm. wraps up that situation. Now onto probably the craziest relationship so far in this video, and it would be with Yaya Mayweather, the daughter of the boxer Floyd Mayweather, where she would end up stabbing someone. Now as always, yeah, before we get to the crazy. main part of the story, which is the arrest of Yaya Mayweather and Youngboy and the aftermath, first let me give you some backstory to their relationship. The two would begin dating in 2018, and blogs would first hear some whispers about them dating towards the end of that year, which caused many rumours of the two being together to start circling around on social media. And since basically everyone knew what was going on, on Valentine's Day in 2019, Yaya would share an Instagram story of her and Youngboy laughing and playing about. But um, just a month later, things would go south very quickly, as Youngboy would post a video showing his freshly slashed tyres, which was supposedly done by Yaya. Okay, bitch. Hey, you see that? You think I give a fuck you old pussy in this hole? Oh motherfucking slime, free deep dog, bitch. I got foreigns all in it, yo. Oh, inherited ass, bitch. Yeah, everything I got, everything I got, I made on my own. Oh, pussy, hoe, you see that cat? Mm, bitch. Yeah, oh, fuck ass, I don't give a fuck, niggas, fuck K Trey. We taking his way in. And after this incident, it seemed like they took a break as Youngboy began dating. C we understand that having your pet by your side for yeah, yeah. <laughs> your mental health and Budak Black's ex, Day Rose Gold. But anyways, towards the end of 2019 in December, Youngboy would drop the track Dirty Iana, with the title of the song being a direct diss to Yaya Mayweather as her legal name is Iana where in the lyrics he would directly accuse Iana of slashing his tires. In the lines, I see, she won't leave me alone, she slashed the tires on my car. The song's release showed to fans that the two supposedly had the hatred for each other. However, it seems like fans' perception of what was actually going on behind the scenes was wrong, as Yaya would post a video of her vibing to the song, with Youngboy even showing love in the comments section, where he wrote, I'm laughing so hard, I love you. To which Yaya replied with, lol, love you more baby. So, it seemed like the two were back on good terms. But, as we move into 2020, things got pretty violent between Youngboy's baby mothers and Yaya. Firstly, as captured and shown by CCTV, Youngboy and one of his lovers, Cecilia, would pull up on Yaya who stood outside the front of a hotel. In the video, you can see the girl dressed in red jump out of the vehicle and run towards Yaya and her friend. It's obvious things got heated before they were officially pulled apart from each other. Afterwards, Cecilia took to Twitter to deride Yaya for her poor fighting ability, whilst also alleging that she was pregnant. So how much money do Yaya got? B. You outside a room door acting ratchet as hell, and I can't tell Floyd Mayweather her daddy either, with them weak ass punches she was throwing and the way her scary ass was running when I was after her ass. And, well, it seemed like Youngboy had another baby on the way. Now, Yaya didn't think it was a good idea to stay safe and at peace while she's pregnant. Instead, deciding to stab Youngboy's baby mother, Lepatra Lachey Jacobs, during a dispute. On the 4th of April in 2020, Youngboy and Lepatra, one of his baby, baby mothers, too. were at his <laughs> newly bought mansion in home. Houston together when unexpectedly Mayweather arrived, who Youngboy didn't want there. So Mayweather's daughter, that's the one you said get out, right? That's the one you ain't want in the house, right? Yeah, that's the one you ain't want in the house. And that's the one, and then that's the one when you woke up, she was in the house. Yeah. And she's supposed to be outside the house. Okay. Hold on, I'm just going to one love in. Okay, I'm just going to one love in. Yeah. Got you. It's the porch, Mike. I'm like, I ain't bitch. I'm walking out. I ain't got a phone upstairs. I'm talking about Xbox. Yeah, yeah. If I smoke them. Yeah, yeah. I come in, she's sitting right by the door and chill. I hear nothing. Bro, I just like how he cooperates with the police, though. A lot of people think they too cool to, like, cooperate. Like, 
<laughs> Once Yaya here. and Mayweather got into the house, she expressed her displeasure with Lepatra being there. This caused a verbal disagreement to begin between the two women, which escalated into a physical altercation during which Mayweather supposedly obtained two knives from the kitchen and stabbed Jacobs twice and leaving her with several lacerations that required emergency surgery. Shortly after the incident, Mayweather would be arrested and at one point she was even facing life in prison for the stabbing incident, but was only charged with aggravated assault and was released from jail after her bail was set to $30,000 in October. After pleading guilty to aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, she ended up receiving 6 years of probation. Which damn, that's a pretty light sentence for stabbing someone. Mm -hmm. And the woman ended up having her left arm like completely paralyzed from the wounds. Dang. So yeah, she got pretty light. Anyways, eventually on the 9th so of January mad, in 2021, bro. young boys and Yaya's son bro, would be born. People, people with money, bro. Like, honestly, that's why I don't like the jail system like that. Because people with money can get away with so much shit, bro. Like, it's like, damn. Like, money really ruled the world for real. Like... The justice system, not really no justice system for real. Like, if you got enough money, baby, okay, like, they gonna probably reduce your sentence or something. I don't know, but that's just crazy. Like, this girl really suffered injuries. Tory Lane's in jail right now for shooting at Megan Thee Stallion's ankle. Like, and he doing what, like, seven years or something like that for that shit? And like she gets off for stabbing this girl and actually causing severe damage like her whole arm is like paralyzed that's just crazy bro i would be so pissed if i was her however things wouldn't be exactly what? positive from that point onwards as a year later in an unreleased song young boy would talk about the fact that yaya wasn't letting him see his son on the unreleased track carry on he raps the lyrics she don't want kj to come but then she tries to facetime him with me but i don't want to talk at all Fans immediately took to the comment section to express their thoughts about NBA Youngboy claiming that Yaya won't let him see their one year old son, Kentrell Jr. One fan wrote, all the drama he has going on, I don't blame her. While another added, whether she wants him or not, he is clearly emotionally all over the place. I wouldn't either. A third fan wrote, she has reasons I'm sure. While many fans expressed that they agreed with Yaya allegedly not letting NBA Youngboy see their son, others labelled Yaya as unfair. One fan wrote, she needs to stop holding their child hostage, while another claimed she wants him back so she uses her son to prevent him from seeing him. And that's about it with Youngboy and Yaya Mayweather. I mean, over the years, of course, as usual, so really the two would have many son? more altercations over social media, but that's expected when you date NBA Youngboy. However, recently in the April of 2024, Yaya teased social media with a video suggesting she wants to get back with Youngboy, which I personally think is a terrible idea as it probably would not end well. The final story I will be delving into in this video is with another one of Youngboy's baby mothers, Arcola, who accuses him of getting two women to assault her. And since this is the final story, I know some of you will say I've missed certain things out about many of Youngboy's relationships. However, for this video, I just want to see if people are even interested in young boys relationships at all so i've just covered the big stories but if you want to see a more in depth into literally a full detail of every relationship like, every allegation Utah, every so. beef let me know because i'll do one i'll do a fat video but for now i'm just doing a brief one covering the main couple stories so young boys and arcola's son will be born in the january of 2022 however just days after his birth the two will start arguing over who has the child with Youngboy claiming he never wanted to have him in the first place and even supposedly and ditching the baby out. That's crazy. Our color baby looks just like YB too. I think he looks the most like YB. About his Airbnb. So first, Arcola would share hella text messages between her and Youngboy. She would say to Youngboy, You a weak RB. You get mad and always take sh out on your kids. B, you pitfall. Now you mad he gotta leave. Laughing emoji. Never met a fella weaker than your B. Ah, uh, like, I said have someone bring him cause I'm busy. And if nobody can, then I'll be there when I get there. Which Youngboy would respond with, You mad lol. Can't say nothing. You say you bother me, but he a be at the Airbnb. Wow, you're you're a lame I be. 
I'll come get him, that's fine. Which you would caption with, this how you do your son? You begged me to bring him out there. Which is first, her cutting your boy out for being a terrible and weak man, then young boy would respond letting her know that he has left his son in an Airbnb. With the caption of the story telling us that young boy had begged her to bring the child out to him, just for him to not want to see him anymore. As she would then show us screenshots of young boy begging her to bring the baby to him. She would then show us how desperate she was to go get her baby back, as there was no facts available to which she captioned, Lord please. She would then show us the post that initially aggravated young boy, which was captioned, Kentrell, where you at? This 95 ain't enough. Which for some reason triggered him. She would then post more screenshots of her messages with young boy. What you do? On my way home, what you do? Sitting here, bring me kale. I already told you I am, Saturday, which young boy demanded, no, now. She would respond with, I have work in the AM and it's probably no flights. Tell him you got COVID, then I'ma be out of work while Kale gone. Tell him you sick, go back in two days, they gonna make me stay out. She would then share another text, where she told us that young boy insisted on her posting these text messages. Which she would caption, he makes me sick literally and everybody in his camp could run that back. I don't give a F, F or your. Then in another story, only reason I let Kale go the first time was because I didn't want to seem bitter, you know? And also, he needed to know his dad, but I tried and that's out the window. Kale has two uncles and his bonus uncle, Baby Zay, and his godfather. They love him a lot and I do too. But young boy would respond with his own screenshot, which read, I don't know what type of internet games you're playing, but I don't owe you shh. I even want no baby with you, I told you no, but I accepted responsibility. You'll hurt play baby games and try to cover some sh I earn and risk my life for cause you all ain't women enough or capable to get on your sh that ain't my fault I can take care of my kids and get them what I want that ain't my fault you can't I keep it too real for you all to be so effing fake come get him in the morning in you ain't gonna text me back f what you talk about tell the world about it I don't give a f I'd be in my own world anyway text Jason when you get here so basically young boy is being petty about him seeing a son and then he's telling us that he never wanted to have that child in the first place which is a crazy thing to say on social media as when his son grows up he's gonna search his father's name on google and see that his father said he doesn't want he never wanted to have him and if you guys think that argument is bad well, as we move further in time things will get very violent on Monday the 6th of November in 2023, Enemy Youngboy's child's mother, Arcola, shared some disturbing accusations on social media, claiming Youngboy ordered an attack on her that left her bruised and bloody. So apparently all of this began as she dropped their son off of Youngboy, and then they had issues with who has him, which she shared with us on Twitter. First, she would send out a tweet with the caption, Mind you, I dropped my son off at the end of August. He wanted me to come get him two weeks into him being there. So I told him, keep him two more weeks. He was peed off. LMAO, I just feel like if you ain't gonna help me financially, you gonna help physically. Which is her saying, young boy, if you're not gonna help me raise a child financially by giving me money like childcare, then at least you can look after him. And it seems like he didn't want to do that as she shared us text messages of him begging her to come pick the child up. Come get him. I can come Thursday. I got work. I ain't trying to hit that shh. Damn, you can't wait till Thursday. Nah. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Which she would respond with a laughing emoji and a muscle flex bicep. Why oh, can't Lord struggle Jesus. with that? Can you have someone bring him to your mum? Stop texting me, B. She would then share text messages that seem to be from NBA Youngboy's wife, Jaslyn Michelle, showing that the rapper refused to help with fun. That's what happens when you willingly have a rapper's baby that don't want you. Get fee free overdraft. They, I think she was a fan too. Like, girl, you should have known. You should have known. Needed for her to fly to Utah to bring their son home with her. Like, come on. In a tweet captioned, He's so unreasonable, so happy this is all over with now. I asked his wife if she can ask him to just get Cal, fly, and then he said no. Keep in mind the flight was 1300 for both of ours round trip, and all I asked was for him to pay for Cal's. Fellas still couldn't do that. In the text messages which read, Did you ask Kentrell if you can get Cal's ticket? I just asked again, he said no. He said, What time are you going to be here? Tell him, I said, no. Arcola then claimed that once she figured out a way to go and get her son, NBA Youngboy said she got to wait two weeks. 
Once those weeks passed, however, she claimed she tried again to agree on a pickup time and the rapper allegedly told her she could visit the child on the weekends. So it was after that Arcola decided she's gonna go to NBA Youngboy's house and literally evacuate that child better, out. But if you're not financially helping with your son, hopefully he is in real life, but if you're not financially helping with your son, you're not even trying to buy a flight for your son, you're not going to see your son. I'm not dropping my son off, but you don't care who you is. You're not trying to financially help or even financially help to buy his ticket or, you know, just financially help in general to take care of your son. And you want me to fly, you want me to fly my son out to you all the time. I'm not doing it. You're not seeing him. Call me better. I don't care. You're not helping. So why should, you know what I'm saying? You're not even helping with your son. So why should you, why should I give you access to your son if you're not even going to help with him? Like, I don't know. This shit's weird to me, but... I hope he really is helping with his son in real life, but he do have a lot, so I don't know. Of that. In a tweet which read, They kept trying to take care from me. I cried so hard, I even screamed so loud, you think I was mental. I was holding my baby so tight, I was never letting my son go to swing on you, low life ho. I came for my son and left with him. She would then show us an image of her in the ER with Kale, with her face pretty bruised. In a tweet which read, I would be wrong if I press charges on y'all for doing me like this with my baby in my hand. But karma gone eat your asses up. I got my son back, I'm happy that's all that matters. For real. Five stitches later and her punk ass fist ain't do that shorty had some. She would then go on Instagram live and explain the situation where she had her face completely messed up and blood all over her. Hitting your son's mom in the face with a gun is crazy. What? Literally was in the oh house. God. He told them to block the door. Like they really not trying to give me my kid. These hoes really try keep trying to take my son from me. Like, why? Y'all first of all need to stay the f out of it. Two, I'm trying to run to the car. I'm unlocking the door. I get in on this side. I, I'm thinking Who I'm hurting the lock in it. Bitch, pop this door open. So I got That's so this door. I know this door. She keeps trying to grab KL. I'm literally. Hugging my baby tight, like you're not grabbing him, like that's out. You're not grabbing my son. I'm right there. This little ugly, not the bitch Dage, the other little ugly. I booted that bitch in her Dej. face. Too. It was Dage. She started trying to take off on me while I got KO. Then they tried to throw out there that I'm holding KO so I don't have to fight. No. Because none of y'all hoes can't fucking whip me one on one. And two, y'all all keep trying to grab my son. Y'all keep trying to grab him, that's why I'm holding him. Y'all keep trying to take him from me. I'm not letting you take him. I did not fly all the way out here and get a rental car and drive a whole hour up in the mountains. Just to let y'all thought I was really finna let y'all get him. That's just crazy. With the final tweet, what do you have kids by? My son that let his her, yes her, with an S, cause it was two of them weak at home. He gave them the order to get me lol, you know B, who never come from, shh, go and do it. My son was in my hands, his dad just sat back and watched. Where again, she shared more pictures of her face completely messed up. And as we can see, young boy has a very violent past with women, and just in general, being a terrible and weak That's crazy, ain't gonna lie to ya. That is messed up. Mm -mm. But y'all comment down below y'all thoughts and opinions. And also comment down below some more videos I should react to in the future. Until then, I'll see y'all next video. Peace.